Hey everybody, how are you today? Oh, there's the camera. Hi, Trees. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, tonight, well, tonight, actually, I always do it late at the last minute, but sometimes I don't know what, what we're having until the end of the day. But I had bought some chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, and I've been debating and debating what I want. And today I just kept craving fried chicken. And, uh, you know, I could go to Popeye's and get some really good fried chicken, or I could just make it myself. So tonight we're going to make it ourselves. We're going to have a couple of sides. So it's kind of like a cook with me, but it's, I'm going to show you just a simple way to fry chicken. And I hope you enjoy the video. And we need to get started because it is supper okay, time. I just have a few chicken thighs. And normally I would put them on a pan and season them and all that. But today we're just going to do this. We're going to open this up. I'm going to use the, this, it says more spiceless salt. I ran out of my favorite one. I need to get some more, but I have to get it from uh, my uncle, actually. If I can. So I'm just going to season it. I like to season it uh, a lot and I like to rub it in. And my hands are going to be dirty, so I have to keep washing them, so I apologize. But uh, see, they're pretty small. So I just throw them in the bowl on the other side and that way you only have to dirty one dish and I wish I had uh I actually had some chicken drumsticks that I, fro I froze and I wish I, I left them I fried those two today we never fry chicken and uh I have oh my goodness my little my soap just came off um but we never really uh we don't really fry foods but you know, I haven't tried it in my Dutch oven. The Dutch oven just heats up so well. And also, I have another surprise for you. I've been having this induction burner a long time that my father gave me. And I, I've never, I've used it uh, once or twice, but never on camera. So I'm not the best at working it. But I was wanted to see if maybe it didn't heat up my kitchen so much. So you just put your favorite seasonings on. And I'm going to rub it in again. And normally I would soak this with buttermilk and hot sauce for longer, but tonight I'm just, I'm not going to take a lot of time because I want to, and believe it or not, some of that seasoning will still stick on there even after you put the buttermilk. But I bought me some fresh buttermilk today. I bought whole buttermilk. I had some low fat buttermilk and I just, I really don't like the consistency for what I use it for. I like the full fat. So let's pour some of this in here. And I don't have to have a thick coating of uh, flour, or I'm gonna use flour and panko. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna not put a ton of oil in my pot. Because you, you don't need hot? much. Yeah, you don't need much for this. And you put as much hot sauce as you want. The longer you let the hot sauce marinate in here, the, the spicier it gets. It's not gonna be marinating for so long, so it won't be, no, not those. So it won't be too, too spicy, but it'll add a little bit. But I'm also gonna add it, I'm gonna make a barbecue sauce to dip it in. And I'm gonna put some hot sauce in that as well. Maybe. Sometimes I just use ketchup. They're right here, Ella. Oh, I didn't know. Well, yep. So I'm just gonna mix this up. And I did let, uh, let this chicken sit out a little while and the buttermilk so it wouldn't be ice cold. You don't want to fry or cook meat that's ice cold because your chicken will cook on the outside or burn and your inside will be raw. So basically that's it. And remember, we're gonna season the flour as well. So we'll have plenty of flavor. I like a lot of flavor. You know that if you watch my videos, I, I like to season every layer. We're also gonna make some, I'm gonna make my favorite string beans that my mother taught me how to make first while this marinades. And we're gonna move to the stove. Chef yeah. one, and it's uh, you know, uh, you could set it. Uh, I can't talk today. I'm so sorry, guys. It's been a long day, and we're just hungry. But I want to share this with you because I love cooking vlogs. I love to watch them. I love to make them. And uh, you can set the temperature you want to fry your your meat at, or whatever you want to fry. And this is uh, induction. This pot works on an induction stove. And I'm going to be using canola oil today. So we're going to do that in a minute. 
Now we're gonna move over to the string beans. Now these are gonna be the best string beans you've ever had. And they're not fresh, they're from a can. And that's fine. I mean, don't be ashamed this, to use canned food. And this is how my mother taught me. It's good for the apocalypse. So I'm turning, I'm heating my little pot up. I hope you can see that. It's at the back of the stove. Let me move it to the front. Oh, Whoops. careful. I drink a lot of kombucha today. <laughs> I need to drink water. Okay. So let's heat this up. And we're going to put bacon. You can put as much bacon as you want. I want mine pretty meaty today. I didn't have enough protein today, so... Always take care of yourself, stay hydrated, eat enough food. Yeah, we need um, more protein today. We care about y'all. You know, we want you to be happy and healthy. And um, we appreciate you guys um, checking in and stopping by <laughs> on us. We, we appreciate you watching. I just felt like putting that message in because we just, love you guys. So. This is, I don't know how many slices this is. I actually cut it up and I froze the rest of it. This is the right bacon. It's applewood smoked bacon. And it's... Uh, a little bit thick, but I can't ever find the damn thing. Yeah, it's a it's a nice size. It, it's delicious. It's my favorite, and I've tried to buy it on sale. So it's not too much you see in the pot, but it's enough to add a little flavor. You could put tasso. You could put uh, also sausage is good. So I'm going to let this cook for a minute, and then I'm going to be adding uh, onions. So let me cook this and wash my hands, and let me get a better angle on the pot too. There we go. Start smelling the bacon when it starts browning. I added a touch of olive oil, and you want, I want to let you see the bottom of the pot. You want that brown fawn at the bottom. And you can cook it all the way crispy if you want. And I think I'm going to add my onions now. And I have quite a bit of onions. I'm not sure if I'm going to add all of them. But I, we love onions, and I actually need to use these onions. And onions go good in everything. Yeah, well, let's just put them all today. And we're also, now this is something my mother didn't do. Uh, my mom didn't put garlic. So I, I've never tried it, actually. And maybe I should leave it the way my mother did it. But I can't, we love garlic so much, we can't think that it would mess it up. So we'll let you know. If it's not good or not, let's put it just a little bit. We're not going to put much, just just a touch, like a fourth of a teaspoon. It's so sticky. And I only I have two different kinds. This is uh, this is going to be hard because this is open. This is green beans, cut green beans. You can see. I'm going to leave the liquid, the juice or the liquid, in one can. And the other ones, I'm going to use French style, and I drain these because I want to add some chicken stock to add a little flavor. My mother used to put a uh, bouillon cube, chicken bouillon cube, and it was so good. And she would just leave the juice from the uh, cans in the, in the dish, and they were so good. I mean, to me, it's just as good as homemade, uh, not homemade, homegrown, but... Please don't get mad at me for saying that because I know homegrown is really, really, really delicious. Or fresh. Maybe I should say fresh. So I'm going to cook these for a little while. And I've already deglazed my pan, so it's wonderful. So I, when I cook, when I turn the camera off, guys, I wash each dish that I use so I can keep up with my mess. Now, on the back of the stove, today we're cheating. That smells really good. And we're going to be make. we're going to dress this Thick and creamy craft macaroni and cheese up. Yeah, I need, I need, I feel like I need some carbs today, so I'm excited. I love macaroni and cheese. So anyway, that's where we are now. We'll show you what we're gonna do next. Let me show you this back. phase now or stage, man. You can see, there's more brown stuff, which is great. So now we're gonna deglaze it with this. We put our beans in. Oh, I think did I see bacon in here? No, it doesn't say that. I thought I saw something in there. There it... No, I don't know. I'm crazy. And these... I usually like the cut green beans only. But we want extra, so we're going to put these in there too. And one day I'm going to show you guys my mom's bean and pea casserole. 
it's it's uh, way different than what you see on YouTube uh, with the French fried onions on top and everything. Now, ours is cheesy and oniony, and I and I've actually been craving it, so I'll be making it hopefully soon. Now, you want to be careful with the salt because you have bacon and you have bacon, and I lost my train of thought. Oh, chicken stock. So let's add a little chicken stock. And you don't need too, too much. You could also just add a, sometimes I just add a beet on cube, but I want to try the chicken stock today. I'm actually going to let this cook down for a little while to let it kind of, when you cook it down, when you reduce it, it makes the chicken flavor stronger. So for seasonings, we're going to add just a pinch of salt. Not too much because... It's better to add less now and you can add more later. And of course, black pepper. And that is it. I'm gonna bring this to a boil first. And then I'm gonna turn it down to about medium and just let it cook. Cause they're already cooked. So you don't have to really cook, cook them, but they will get a little more tender. I really haven't made these in so long. You can eat as many green beans as you want. There's no calories. I mean, there is now because I put bacon. But as far as uh, free calories, you can eat as many as, these, as you want. But of course, I have to have, I can't eat them plain. I have to have bacon or something in them. So my water's about to boil on my macaroni. I'm about to put some oil in my Dutch oven. And I'm going to season. I've got, let me show you what I did. I have a flour and just... A little bit of paint going here. I like the flour. I find it sticks better for bone, boneless, skinless, but I like the panko crunch. And for seasonings, I'm gonna go some, I'm gonna do this one different. I'm gonna put salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. I can't find my grown thyme. And I'm gonna add just a pinch of red pepper. So you can add whatever seasonings you like. Then I'm gonna put my macaroni noodles in. Cause I, oh, I gotta salt my water first. I always salt my water for potatoes or pasta. I was, I really wanted potato salad, which I'm gonna remake also in a video because my video is very old. I didn't get a good thumbnail and I was very nervous. And this potato salad is the I have served this potato salad at different gatherings, and people say it's the best potato salad they've ever eaten. And let's see, I think you have to boil these for about 11 minutes. So I'm gonna put those in here, and I'm gonna put my timer on. Give them a little stir, it's the same spoon, it's okay. I got to get busy frying that chicken. All right. Let's move to the other side of the stove. I have to come back because actually next time if you follow this recipe, drain both cans. I don't find there's enough chicken flavor, so I'm gonna add a bouillon cube and I'm just using these. Uh, and I think I might add two because there's no salt. There's, they're not salty. I can't even unwrap this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're still good. <laughs> I think that lasts a long time. I'm gonna put two because I just love that chicken flavor. Anyway, I just wanna correct myself. Go ahead and turn my induction burner on and I pressed, you gotta press medium, nope. Then you can adjust the temperature on the side. I'm gonna do 360 and start. And it has a little fan. And let's pour the oil in. I'm also heating this up. I'm kinda, Kind of waiting for my other dishes because the chicken's not going to take long, but I should have heated this up uh, in advance. And I don't want too, too much. That's probably plenty, I think. This is going to be a little, it's not going to be a really heavy batter. If you want a heavy batter, you can do the, uh, the breading where you do the, the flour, the egg, then the flour again, but I'm just going to do the buttermilk and then the flour and panko. 
and hopefully that'll be delicious. So that's how much oil I have, so you can see. And this is the string beans, and they are so good. You have to try these. And I guess I'm just gonna call this video a uh, fried chicken meal, or I don't know what to call it, but sometimes I get confused about what to call things. But it's gonna be really good. These are so good. You could eat this like a soup almost. So let me heat this up. Oh, and, oh, and by the way, the flour, the panko, we just put the Creole seasoning in here to keep it easy. So I didn't make a special seasoning for it. And we're gonna strain the macaroni noodles because they're done. Yeah, we're gonna do the macaroni yeah. noodles. We're dressed for a little crap. Let's put a little butter in here. We moved the burner. I'm gonna put a little bit of half and half. You could use milk, cream. I like it a little creamy. So I have a little half and half, or a lot. And I do use the little, and I do make my own soap top macaroni all the time, but sometimes I just like this, the craft. And, I, and I, I'm addicted to the black, I like to put a lot of black pepper in it. So then I mix that in. Sorry, y'all. And then I kind of just judge it. First, um... You want this to dissolve. I need a little bit more half and half. Sorry about that fan. I didn't realize that index burner. It's kind of loud, but that's okay. I ended up heating up the house a little bit anyway by using the stove. So I'm going to do this. Let this dissolve. And I have it on very low heat. The cheese is hard to get to dissolve sometimes. And I want to start adding some black pepper right now. And I don't add any salt. I don't add anything else but black pepper. But my secret ingredient is sharp cheddar cheese. Tillamook. Tillamook is my favorite. And we grated ourselves, and it's so good. And I, I don't know why I love black pepper on this so much. But well, we've tried the Great Value brand, you guys, and it's actually not that bad. So if you want to do for the Tillamook brand. Okay, a little bit more. That. And the next day... If you have leftovers and you want to heat it, just add a little half and half, and it's like new. Now, you, you judge, you have to be the judge of how much cheese you want to add. I like a lot of cheese. Every once in a while, I add mozzarella because mozzarella melts so well, and it makes it really creamy. But today, I'm not going to add it because I'm going to make a pizza with my mozzarella. I got some sliced pepperoni from the deli today. We were hungry for everything we went to the store today. <laughs> Don't go to the store when you're hungry. All right. That's looking pretty good. Just like this. See how creamy that is? But we need more pepper. I'm sorry. I need more pepper. All right. That's sweet. Looking pretty, pretty good. You want it cheesy. You want to add, you can add salt if you like salt, but the cheese is really salty. It looks good. I'm going to turn the heat off. And I'm going to give it one more little splash. Not much. I don't want it to dry out. Anyway, this is how you dress up a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. And it's delicious. Okay, but now I think that you use whole milk, buttermilk. It's thicker, so it, it gives you a good foundation for the flour to stick on. And uh, I'm not the best at frying food, I have to admit. I don't find that often, but I find also that 370 is a good temperature for this uh, induction burner. I'll put two in here, and then I shake off the excess, and this is going to be so good. You know, just lay it in there. Not, you don't want to overcrowd your pot. And these, these are not very thick, so they shouldn't take very long. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. And uh, we'll be back when we, and you want to flip them in the, in the middle, but oh. we'll tell you how long okay. it takes. Take these out. They have a beautiful golden crust. They've been in there for, I forgot to tell it. I'm not going to lie. But this, see the different sizes. These are, these two are small. We're going to do a chicken uh, thermometer test because this one has been in the longest and it's a little thick. And you can see that's a beautiful crust. And you have to be careful. Uh, you don't want to burn your flour, burn your flour we're in We're going to use a meat thermometer to make 
make sure that they're uh, all the way done so we don't accidentally eat raw chicken because that would not be good. I'm going to add my other two. And you want to keep close to, I like this because you can control the temperature. If I want to, if I want to turn it down to 360, I can. 165. This one's a little bit big, but it's done. The big one's done, so I know the little ones are done. This one's about medium size, but uh, I usually use chicken breast all the time, but I've, I've been, uh, I've been experimenting with chicken thighs a lot. Uh, sometimes I like the uh, richness, and I don't like them in everything, I have to be honest. I am acquiring a taste for them. I find they're a little rich for me, my system sometimes. But this is going to be really rich for my system, but this is a special treat today. So, we're almost done. This is the last one, and uh, then we're going to fix the plate. Okay, guys, I'll kind of tore it up because I cut it. This is so good. I took a bite before. I'm so sorry. Perfectly fried, perfectly seasoned. You don't have to have the skin or bone in. They take a long time, too, if you have the bone in. That's one reason I like the skinless. We just turn that off. We've got the fire off. And this is a little barbecue sauce with hot sauce in it. Not much, but the, it's baby raised, sweet and spicy if you never tried it. But you actually... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to film this with a tripod. It's not cooperating with uh, me. You actually do not need anything. It's so good. I'm so happy. I really like frying with this burner. Uh... And it also, it just worked great. And it also, uh, I like that it kept it keeps an even temperature. You know, when you put the meat in, it's going to go down a little bit. But anyway, let's try the chicken. I, can I get, I want to get a close-up of the chicken. Oh, yeah, that's a good close-up. It's moist and it's perfectly breaded. And if anybody that watches this video... If you've never tried Cajun seasoning with your with your chicken, I really encourage you to try it. It just it's so it's so wonderful together. And here's the macaroni and cheese. Let's take a bite of this one. It's like we cooked late tonight. It's worth it though. Mm-hmm. And the beans. Let's try these. She did eat it. <laughs> mm. The chicken flavor, and you can also use a vegetable bouillon. I didn't say that, but the chicken flavor and the bacon and the onions, and I can barely taste the garlic. This is so wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this video. I try to do, do a meal. I, I don't do it often because I have a hard time organizing it all because my videos go too long. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more recipes. Uh, please try this chicken. We usually do it in the air fryer, but tonight we wanted to fry it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Bye.